Hello, in today's video, I'm sharing some incredible must-have Amazon products that I've been loving and think you will too. I have a pretty eclectic mix in today's video of beauty, fashion, home, electronics, and lifestyle, and most products are under $25 or $30 except for one. You can discover some great products and some major duds on Amazon. So when I discover great things, I love sharing them in these videos with you. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I have some fun Amazon finds to share with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I know something looks different to those of you who have been subscribed to me, who have been watching me for some time. I got a little bored. I have been contemplating cutting bangs for some time and I finally took the plunge. I have not decided how I feel about them. I may let them grow into kind of a curtain bang situation. I may cut some more layers to blend them in. I'm just not sure. I think I need to get used to them again. I had bangs for years and then didn't have them for many years. And so, yeah. Here we are. I'm looking at myself over in the monitor because I still can't get, get used to what I'm seeing over there. So the first product I'm going to rave about is this mascara I have been so blown away by. I have very sparse, thin lashes that don't hold a curl. They're also light, so they're practically invisible if I don't curl them and apply some kind of waterproof mascara to hold my curl either alone or a light coat before I go in with a regular mascara. The curl will fall flat if I don't do that. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Panorama Mascara. It's got this conical shaped wand with these kind of spiky staggered bristles. I, I normally wouldn't think this type of wand would work for me, but it does a really great job of getting in between every lash and really gripping my lashes so it coats them really well. I apply one coat and go in with my Tweezerman wire lash comb as I always do. I'll have that linked down below for you along with all the products I'm sharing and wearing today as I always do in my description box. I have lashes that tend to clump so I, I need to comb through my lashes. I comb through them when they're about 75% dry so I don't pull out any lashes and then I apply a second coat and it gives me nice curled lifted lashes that don't flake or smudge and just look good all day. This is a very impressive mascara and it takes me a lot to be impressed with mascara. I've just really, really been liking this one and I've been reaching for it since I got it. I was really curious about this Tap Secret Mattifying Dry Shampoo Powder from the K-Beauty brand, I Do Care. It's got this powder puff applicator. Did you just see that puff of powder come out? It's non-aerosol, benzene-free. It's supposed to give a little bit of volume at your root, and it's not supposed to leave a white cast. You just tap it onto your scalp like so, and massage it in with your fingers or a brush or whatever. But I found, even though it massaged into my hand right there, when I tapped it onto my scalp like that, it left this kind of gritty, white, kind of dandruffy, dry look. But it did what it was supposed to do otherwise. It absorbed oil and it did give me a little bit of a root boost. So I decided to see if I could make it work for me a little bit better instead of using the puff directly against my scalp. I mean, I know that's how it's designed. Maybe using it a different way wouldn't be so obvious and white looking. So I just have been using a little brush, either dipping it into the poof or dispensing some into the palm of my hand and then dipping the brush in. And I'll just take it and dab it along areas of my scalp and it massages in better that way and it's just not as obvious. You can obviously use a bigger brush than that and then when I'm done, I've got usually some residue in my hands and I can take it through the lengths of my hair. There's also no scent and I think that this is around $16. I believe it'll last a long time too. So if you are looking for a non-aerosol option, whether you're looking for 
a dry shampoo to absorb some oil in between washes or if you're looking for just a little bit of a, a volume boost powder this is a nice little find i just wanted to show you this trick with it this brush is one from one of my beaky brush sets you could use a bigger brush too it might help massage it into your scalp a little bit better it's a nice product with some tweaks for me these are the professional hair scissors, hair shears that I got from Amazon months ago when I cut some extra layers into my hair. Now this is probably three cuts ago. I think those are long grown out, but these are what I used for this. I just think it's important to have some type of hair shear in your house. You never know who's going to need a slight trim or what you're going to need to do. These were around $20. The quality is really nice. They're sturdy. There's a tension adjusting screw here and they come in several colors. This is just the silver color. It didn't really matter to me, but you do have colors to choose from. This is a random Amazon product, I know, but I just like to always have a good pair of hair shears, hair scissors, because you never know if you're going to need to trim something before you head to the salon or if you're going to need to trim someone else's hair or, you know, do a full cut. Who knows? When Brooke left for college in August, we obviously bought her some new things for the dorm that she needed, but she took some things from her room with her. And one of those things was her jewelry tree, her necklace holder. And I kind of forgot about it until I was in her room just a couple weeks ago and I realized her necklaces that she had left at home were just kind of laying in random places. And I looked over, I saw her jewelry box, I saw her ring holder, and I realized she didn't have anywhere to put her necklaces. She had taken it with her. So I found this four tier jewelry tree stand with some earring storage. It's a pretty minimal piece, but I thought it would work pretty well. And it's very streamlined. It was a piece of cake to put together. It doesn't take up much real estate on her dresser. It functions how it's supposed to and it looks nice and I think it was right around $25. I feel like I looked through so many options. I mean there are tons on Amazon to look through and I'm really happy that we ended up with that one. Speaking of earrings, I just got these earrings a little over a week ago. They're from one of my favorite Amazon jewelry brands. Pavoy is that how you say it? Anyway, I've got several pieces from them. The quality is really great. These feel much pricier than what they are. I think these were around $21. They look like they'd be heavy, but they're not. And they go really well with this necklace I also got from Amazon. And this top, I can't remember if I've shared this in a video before. I know I've worn it, but I can't remember if I shared it with you or not. So I'll have it linked for you too. The top I really wanted to share is this one that I have worn in a couple of videos. I feel like somewhat recently so I didn't want to wear it again today because of you know overexposure but it's $25 there are tons of patterns to choose from and it's not heavy it feels like it's flannel but it's somewhat thin it's breathable now I have a long torso I got this in a large I probably could have gotten medium but I wanted it to be a little bit oversized in case I wanted to wear it with a tank unbuttoned or button it and wear it with leggings I can wear it with leggings because of the length, which is why I did size up. But it's so soft and comfortable. I, I find myself wearing it around the house quite a bit. And I don't normally wear button downs around the house because they can be kind of stiff. And this isn't. It's really soft and comfortable. It also washes well. This is going to sound like the most boring, random electronics Amazon find, but it streamlined things so much aesthetically by my nightstand area because I had a couple of cords that were just always hanging there. And I'm sure everyone has that type of area where you've got a phone cord charger, maybe a charger for your earbuds, whatever it is. And that's kind of what I had going on. And it was just always hanging there by my nightstand. So this is an extension cord adapter that's flat and there are four outlets and three USB ports and the back of it has a, a sticky side so you can mount it to the side or to the back of something. So what I did is I mounted it to the back of my nightstand. So it's in a much more convenient spot. Those cords are now coming from behind my nightstand. They're not 
draped all over and it just works so much better. I think it was like $18. It comes in white and black and in four feet and six feet lengths. Instead of having that extension cord laying on your floor with cords hanging out of it, it just helps corral them behind or on something and more out of the way. It really made a difference in my area anyway. Another item that's made a huge difference in my life in a small way, but a difference nonetheless, is this. I didn't even know this existed, but it's something that I've needed for years and years and years. So if you've ever dealt with taper candles, pillar candles, what are we calling them, falling over, whether they are wax candles or flameless candles, whatever they are, it's a pain. I would try different methods to get them to stand up. And I think one day I just did a Google search to see if there was something that actually worked and this popped up. And of course it was available on Amazon. So this is Stick'em Candle Adhesive. It's from the brand Fox Run. This little tin is $8 and it will last forever. It's a wax that never hardens. So you scoop a little bit out, form it into a ball and put it down into your candle holder and stick your candle in and it stays upright magically. It also smells kind of good too. I mean, all the struggles that I've had for years using sticky tack and just different random things, this is all I need. This works a tiny, tiny bit too. Speaking of flameless candles, I recently got some from Amazon that have a 3D wick and a warm flicker light option. They come with a remote, so you don't have to lift them up and push the button to turn them on each time. You can just use the remote. But I know a lot of us are going to flameless candles and these are actually really nice especially when they're lit or turned on, I guess I should say. They give a nice soft ambiance and a pack of six was around $25. I'm always skeptical when it comes to getting furniture on Amazon, but I've had pretty good experiences with it, quite frankly. The desk that I'm filming at, the console behind me, they're from Amazon. I have a few random pieces here and there, and I just got another one that I'm so happy with. So I was looking for a storage piece for below the TV in my office, and I found this storage cabinet that I thought was cute. It's actually two that you put together. It took me about an hour and a half start to finish to put both cabinets together, just me. I'm extremely impressed with the quality for this price, especially with two 30 inch cabinets. I mean, that's a nice size for less than $200. Many times with less expensive furniture pieces, you're gonna have some sides that are unfinished, which means, you know, if you have a flaw or something happens in shipping, you're kind of screwed, but every side was finished. There were no flaws. I didn't have to deal with anything, but it was nice to know that the quality was there. And it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I haven't decorated the top fully or anything like that, but I am extremely happy with it. Over Christmas, I bought this ceramic pinch bowl set. It was $15 for a set of six. I remember it was packaged really nicely. I remember thinking I should give this as a gift or something because it just looks like it's very giftable. Now I got them to use as part of our charcuterie board I was putting together, but I've used these so many times since then for various things, soy sauce and just, I don't know, random things. These little tiny bowls come in handy for so many different things. The price is great and I love love this color story that these came in. There are other colors to choose from, but I just really liked this one. This was something I got for one purpose, but it's, it's really kind of filled a void in other areas and it makes me happy in the process. I've shared so many Amazon favorites of various types with you. If you want to see more Amazon favorites videos, be sure to check them out here. I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. I would love to hear some of your favorite things from Amazon down in the comments below. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.